Well, I guess we've got the new setup and stuff. Might as well go. Hi there, I'm Ryan, and welcome to this uh, somewhat improved Ball in Europe setup for our YouTube. We're finally back doing the videos from the base here in Dublin. And uh, obviously some great going out and about, don't get me wrong, we'll be doing way more of those. But after a lot of inspiration, mostly from my big buddy Des O'Reilly, who's out there with the uh, Irish forces, uh, much love my brother. And uh, yeah, you know, so we've done a bit of glamming up here. Uh, got to also thank my friend Maura Walsh out in San Fran for helping get some of this to me. But as you can see, we're looking a bit better, we're looking a bit more stylish. And oh, of course, my beloved Chibangi, she's also helped with some of this stuff too. So today we're talking mostly about Nikola Jokic. But we're also going to talk a little about Joel Embiid because of, you know, that thing. But let's get to the Joker being possibly a bit too calm. So, hello there. And this is me cutting in to me during this video. So, we have a special competition for you all. This book, I Like It Loud by me. We have copies to give away. And you can win one in one way, but you've got to help us as a, as a catch. So every video we do for the next while, we've got quite a few copies to give away that gets over a thousand views. We will give one, we will give a book to somebody in the comments. So like, comment, share, most certainly subscribe. And every video that hits a thousand, we're going to send a copy of I Like It Loud to for the foreseeable. Okie dokie. Now back to the video. So Saturday night, we were all teed up. Well, Saturday evening for the American viewers, but it was 10.30 start time, which of course really means like 10.45, 10.50 in Ireland, because uh, heaven forbid an NBA game start at the advertised time. And minutes before tip, and he hadn't been on the injury report all day, Joel Embiid is announced as not playing in Denver. And we're going to talk, we're just going to address the Embiid stuff first, because this is really a Jokic video, and I want to mostly be about that. But, um, so, the last time Nikola Jokic played in Denver was the 8th of November 2019. Since then, things that have happened since Joel Embiid last played in Denver. Disney Plus was launched four days later. We learned what the word COVID was. Tom Brady was still with the Patriots and then went to Tampa Bay and then retired twice. And remember that Dolly Parton challenge online? Yeah, that happened after MB last played. So, um, yeah, those are things. Those are things. So, it's just ridiculous. But it does actually factor into what we're going to talk about now, which is the main meat of this discussion, which is, is it possible for Nikola Jokic to be too relaxed? So, I still, despite all of that, stayed up to watch the game last night. I drank way slower than I planned uh, because, you know, it's a nighttime game. I want to have a few beers. And for me, pace of an NBA game normally, it's a beer a quarter. This game was so mild, so, so mild, that I was way be up below that, even factoring in half time. I barely finished my third beer by the final uh, horn. And a big part of that, to be honest, was just how chill the Joker is. Now, Nikola Jokic being a relaxed basketball player is news to absolutely nobody. But I'm just going to go through his quarter stats here and his final stats. Uh, sorry, his, his stats at the end of each quarter and the final stats. Just to tell you just how much he nearly sleepwalked, sleptwalked into a trip dub. So he was 2 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists at the end of the first. 6, 7, 5, end of the second. 18, 11, and 7 at the end of the third. And then finished 26, 16, and 7. So Daddy went to work. But, I mean, I mean, you know, you're thinking, right, there's a bit of a motivation here for Jokic to really step up here and go to town and what is essentially a bunch of G-leaguers out here for Philly. And you kind of got the impression of he realizes he probably shouldn't do that, that it's a time to hold back a little bit. Not in terms of stopping Denver winning, although they did make way harder work of it than that Philly lineup should have been. But also just really, and yeah, I am keeping an eye on this, uh, you know, it was almost like he got too relaxed, it's kind of going, I came out here to go to war with Joel Embiid, and it just brought it way back in. And when you look at that, you kind of go, okay, Denver's just had a tough road run. Great, great, great. And 
you know, that's going to take it out of the guys. So the first home game back is going to be tough. But it really looked like Jokic was almost restraining himself too much out there. Like, there was, you know, moments there. I've deliberately got notes here, by the way, you know. Um, and it's just kind of, the first half, it was take himself out. He didn't want to dominate. He didn't want to be, and I say dominate, obviously he's a very all-rounded player. But he wasn't dominating as a creator. He wasn't dominating as a scorer. He wasn't featuring as much as you expect Nikola Jokic to feature in terms of being the one getting everybody else into the play. Yes, there was the odd, there was that one really good rebound turned into an assist, uh, you know, from the for, on the fast break. But beyond that, like, it really, really felt like, you know, he just didn't need to cook. And it's one thing to not need to cook, but I also got the impression watching Joker that he felt he ought not to cook, that this is the night to sort of, you know, take the step off. And obviously it's an 82-game season, and he's one of the MVP frontrunners again. But it just felt weird because obviously he's trying to like not overexert here, which is good. But his lack of overdoing it almost had an impact across the board. Whereas it was really only the bench guys who were bringing the energy spark. Because all the starters felt like maybe we should all be pulling it a bit back in. Jamal Murray excluded for the Nuggets. And obviously for Jokic, like, they looked to him for leadership in many respects. So... If the boss is saying, and he is the boss on the floor, is saying, this isn't the night to go all out, lads, it's going to impact players. Now, obviously, come playoff time, that won't be an issue because every night, Nikola Jokic is going to be Mr. All Out. But it does show you the level of influence he has. He can possibly be a bit too relaxed. And I suppose, you know, I'm just looking here at my... My handwriting is appalling, by the way. You're not going to see it on screen. My handwriting is appalling. And, um, yeah, you know, he just... There was a shot there in the third, where he was so wide open, like he's just there about seven minutes to go in the third, he's so wide open, he doesn't expect to be it, he spins into space, and I think he felt he was spinning into coverage, and it's like, oh, I'm so wide open, and that like gave him a brain freeze, like sort of when you have ice cream too quickly, and he missed a shot, a shot he's going to make 99 times out of 100, and that was just sort of his night, now he still put up great stats, type of stats to go, great night Nicola, Joker, you're fantastic. But it does make you wonder, like, what was he thinking? What was going through the head? And, um, yeah, it, it was just a bit odd, to be entirely honest. It was just a little bit odd. So, there was that. Now, there was definitely elements in the fourth of, Daddy's going to go to work, like, you know? Like, but still, there were these moments. Like, again, a few minutes after that missed shot, there was this offensive board. He went really, really hard to win. Like, he juggled, juggled, juggled. I wrote down juggle tackler here in my notes. Uh, in order to eventually win it. And then he immediately turned it over because it was like, you know, the brain was still waking up. It was like coming out of some long slumber that had sort of wasn't going to have been there had you know who been on the floor. Uh, and I was like, you know, it's like, does Joker need some coffee at halftime or between quarters? And I, I don't know, it just felt like that. Like he sat to start the fourth, which I think made sense like briefly. Uh, and, you know, as, you know, the time went by in the fourth, you could see. That it felt at times like he was suddenly having to be the one carrying, again, fairly strong lineup for the Nuggets, but he was having to sort of carry them and wake them all up because he realized, I've been taking it so chill, everyone's chilled out too much, and uh, Daddy's got to go to work now. It was far from vintage joke, which don't get me wrong, but you know, there we saw the fight in him. Like he missed a tough, tough, uh, you know, chance there to uh, possibly seal the game late and so then the other end he just goes down and gets the defensive board to effectively end it so he got the job done in the end but uh yeah yeah just a bit mad and um before i get to my closing thoughts just another quick line because i know you all want to know about Embiid. uh there was of course the where's Embiid chant How, big shout out to hardwood paroxysm i'm sure i'm mispronouncing that bro but uh you rock and uh Embiid has only played three road games all season against teams over 500. When he put that up first, I thought he had written down three road games all season. Because honestly, it feels like that's how many road games Joel Embiid has played. But yeah, so kind of wild. But like, I suppose, let's get to the broader point here to close things out. So what I'm trying to get at here is Nikola Jokic, obviously, is, there's a reason the man's won a couple of MVPs, guided Denver to the championship last year is going to be the key piece. It's going to have this, a, a huge say in deciding who wins the NBA title this year, be it Denver or be it whoever may topple them. Like, Nikola Jokic is the guy. Let's not pretend he's not. He is the guy. 
the question I have is, do the Nuggets need him to rethink how he rests? Because uh, it wasn't like it's not he wasn't taking plays off in this, but it was very much like the body and the mind were sort of you know smooth or chilled, almost too relaxed. Like get him to wonder about how relaxed he should allow himself to be in the games where he may not be being asked to go full tilt, or else really maybe then look at if Jokic is going to be asked to go not full tilt or feels this is a game he needs to not go full tilt, try and see who else can step into that leader role uh, on the floor when he is on the floor. Like, you know, can Murray be that guy? Because like, I was actually amazed watching the game where how good a night Jamal Murray was having, particularly in the first half, and how little he was being discussed by the commentators. Like, Pat Bev, Olympiacos legend, you know, just uh, remember that. Uh, like, he got talked up plenty. And rightly so, his first ever 13 and 8 first half ever in the NBA, like, you know, for a man of his extraordinary experience and talent, that's brilliant. But like, Jamal was balling, and it was like, you know, he's here, right? And it just, there was an element of maybe Denver needed to be reminded of that as well. Like, Jamal can lead, you know, and he's shown it. Like, he had an amazing finals. And yeah, so I think if you're going to have Jokic allowed to be that chill, and, you know, the guy gets to pick when he gets to chill, I think, especially in the regular season. Maybe it's time to look at what you do around that because you still want to keep, you know, the other guys fully locked in. So that's it for this video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really does help. And um, yeah, um, that's it for now. And I hope you like the new setup. We're going to add more pieces as we keep going. Um, you know, and give us your thoughts of what you think about Jokic in the comments below and uh, what you might think about Embiid ducking uh, in Denver as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, wow. I mean, great to be back on doing these and great to be talking to you. But for now, um, that's all i got to say about that.